What's cooking everybody? It's Dor and in this video we'll be taking a look at the Colossal Archives in No Man's Sky. Colossal Archives are planetary archives and can be found on planets. In this video I will of course be showing you the best way to find them and of course what you can expect when visiting one of them and how to make some money out of visiting them as well. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So the most reliable way to find a colossal archive on a planet is to head up to the cartographer aboard the space station. Interact with the cartographer and choose to exchange specific maps. You want to exchange some navigational data for commercial cartographic data. So once you've done so, I would advise to head back to your starship. Get in and out of it to create an auto save before plotting the route. Do so by hovering above the planetary chart and select plot route. A location will be marked on your HUD. If it's anything else except for a planetary archive, make sure to reload the autosave which you've just created. So once you're back in the game, try again. Continue to doing this until a planetary archive is detected. Now of course get into your starship and fly towards the planetary archive. The archives are very big and hard to miss, so once you are nearby you should be able to spot it easily. These archives have 5 to 6 landing pads on which you can land. Similar to the ones at Trading Outpost, NPCs will also land on these landing pads and you can of course approach them and trade with them and buy their ships and etc. So once you've landed on the Colossal Archive, exit your ship and walk up to the Skywalk. Here you'll find multiple NPCs with which you can also interact. Doing so will give you the common options you'll also find with interacting with NPCs aboard Space Station. So you can request help for the, with the dialect, practice your language skills or of course offer them a gift if you have any on you. Next to NPCs you will find some shopping stalls, one of which is the Guild Envoy. The race of the Guild of course ties in with the race of this system. You can interact with them and accept some quests here, but for some reason this one didn't want anything to do with me. I'm not really sure why, as my standing with the gag is pretty good, but oh well, it's a gag. Next to the Guild Envoy, you'll also find a stall with a technology merchant present. Of course, with this technology merchant, you can purchase components and of course also purchase blueprints. Difference between these merchants and other merchants is that they also carry other stock, like for example the antimatter housing. And if you choose the option to purchase blueprints, you will see the regular blueprints are also available for purchase here. These are the same that can also be found at the merchants at minor settlements. You also notice that there is a galactic trade terminal on site. This is exactly the same as the one you would also find at trade outposts and of course will allow you to buy and sell resources. You also notice that there is a local information repository. This is newly added with the colossal archives. If you interact with it, it will give you the option to print a planetary chart in exchange for 50 nanites. Doing so will of course give you a planetary chart and this is a planetary chart that will always send you to an ancient ruined site. So one more thing you will only find on these colossal archives are these artifacts exchange vaults. If you interact with it, you will have the option to exchange an artifact for one of an equivalent or a greater rarity. So either the same value or even higher in value. So as this planetary archive is located in a GAC system, I will have the option to submit an unearthed treasure. This will be an historical document for the Corvax or a fossil sample if it is a Viking system. You'll also see the options to submit a lost artifact and to submit a biological sample. So for this you can use the planetary charts which you've just purchased for 15 nanites. Select plot route and it will mark an ancient rune site for you on your HUD. While it's working it's magic I want to ask you to please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you did most and please subscribe to see more No Man's Sky content in the future. So once you go there you want to make sure to excavate all the uh, pieces of rune that are sticking out of the ground. Once you've done so, you should see these artifact fragments. Interacting with these will give you an ancient key. Continue digging out all the ruined pieces until you have enough keys and find the large artifact crate. Interact with it and unlock all the locks with the keys you found. You will be rewarded with an artifact of some kind. Of course, as this is a gag system, this will be an unearthed treasure. And you'll see that the current value of this unearthed treasure is 174,301 units. So once you return to the Colossal Archive and interact with the Artifacts Exchange Vault, you'll see that you can submit the unearthed treasure. If you do so, it will ask you to submit it again. If you choose to do so, your artifact will be exchanged to a piece of equal or greater rarity, and your standing with the dominating faction will increase. So as you can see, I've now received a lost artifact, which is worth 195,309 units. 
Now it is worth to note that you can use these artifacts exchange vaults only once, but there are more present at the site. Make sure to check out the ground floor as there will be a few scattered around there. Interact with it and you'll see that you can now submit the lost artifact. Doing so will of course exchange the lost artifact. For me it turned into a biological sample and it's now worth 208,470 units. So I could find a third artifact exchange vault on this site. So I interacted with it and I had the option to submit the newly received biological sample. And of course doing so will exchange it to another lost artifact of greater value. Now it is good to note that repeating this process at a colossal archive will always give you a rare artifact in the end. So that's always a purple or yellow item with a high value and the value did went up to 1,088,646 units. So this is a good way to turn a cheap artifact into something that's worth a lot more units. And finally, if you walk all the way over the sky bridge, you'll find that the Colossal Archive has this big computer inside. Interact with it to receive some part of lore. Of course, the lore you will receive is tied to the system's dominating faction in which the Colossal Archive is located. There are multiple pieces of lore and they will all tie into each other to form one big story in the end. There are a total of 9 pieces of lore to be found on Gex systems, 10 pieces in Corvax systems, and only 8 pieces of lore in Viking systems. Gra. So that was all for this video and this will be my last video for 2021. What a crazy year it has been with much of my personal milestones being reached. I can't thank you enough and I hope to be able to support you with a lot of good No Man's Sky content all the way throughout the year 2022. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.